Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be routering. We're going to do some staining for our siding boards and we might put some up. So let's get to doing that, shall we? All right, folks. We're down here in the carport where we're doing all the routering and uh, we did the table sign in here too. We've got Jerry. We've got Har. What? He's got his own channel, Harley in Alaska. And yeah. So this is the uh, stack so far, and then we've got another stack under the table back there. And um, we've got, let's see here, probably about 14 more boards right through here to go. Yeah, another 15 out there. Shh, we don't talk about They're those. short though, they're only five footers. We don't talk about those. So those boards that we just sawed up, they're right here. And what these guys are doing, they're scraping them off right now. So then the router doesn't have any kind of like, so for example here, this, see that sawdust kind of right there and then there'll be ice mixing with that usually sometimes. Anyways, that'll affect the router's depth, how deep it goes into the board and this thing is fogging up. It's not this. All right, folks, as you can see, we've got the plow truck right here. It's got the snow blowers in the back, and then we've got the mechanic man himself right here. Uh -huh. You're never in any of my videos, so say hi. Right. Turn around and say hi. My God. Come on. All right, so what he's doing right now, folks, is he's going to be hooking up backup lights. Anyways, folks, we've got... His, uh, you know, very tidy and organized, he knows exactly where everything is, tool selection here. And these are the backup lights he's putting in. They're LED. They're, uh, you know, just awesome. And yeah, you can see it's very good wiring. And yeah, hopefully he puts in two, maybe, if we're lucky. Oh, we'll get one bigger one. Amazing. Oh, he's got the switch. It's a lot of wiring. Oh, yeah. All right, so what we're going to do right now is we got to bring some wood in before it gets dark. Let's see. Can't really see the sun behind me, but over there is the sun. It's got like an hour max before it uh, gets completely dark. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring in some wood because I haven't done that yet today. So that's what we're doing. So let's get to it. Earlier today, Dad split up some wood nice and nice and small, as you can see. Some spruce, some birch. So we're going to get it like a crate or something, and we're going to get that. All right, folks, as you can see here, we've got plenty of birch wood. Now, birch is great for keeping our fires going in the winter time here, and it really puts off really high BTUs when it's burnt. However, getting this birch to take does take a little bit of spruce, and we're kind of running low on that, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go 
get some spruce. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right, folks, so it was a whopping six degrees this morning. And um, so yeah, anyways, that's what it was this morning, just so you know. You can see we still got all of our wood over here. Real nice. So the basic plan was we were going to cover it and apply heat and it was going to dry, but with these colder temperatures, that's not going to happen. So the plan has changed to we're just going to put up the siding boards inside the cabin. They'll be nailed down and then they'll dry like that. And then once they're dry this spring, we'll go through with a coat of varathane and paint that. But first, beforehand, we, you know, before we varathane it, we're going to go through and sand it. Yeah. And we have D. Guzway. have found the tree that we are going to cut down and as you can see this is a spruce tree you can tell it's dead because spruce trees are evergreens and with all evergreen trees if they don't come back within a year which is a good rule of thumb they're dead and then you can see here the uh, bark is falling off right there so this tree's been dead for a while, so we're gonna take it down and use it as firewood so we can get some spruce going. All right, just real quick, wanted to plug that this is the trail that we worked on on a couple of my videos. Yep. Um, and I'll probably try and link the card up in this area. Anyway, so we've got Jerry, and he's gonna be cutting down this spruce tree right here. And uh, they're going to get drone footage of it, so if you want to see the drone footage, you should be able to hop over to Homestead Living Alaska and uh, see that. Do a, a Humboldt right here. Humboldt's going to cut. Right towards the tractor. Hudson, do you think that'll hit the tractor? All right, I'm going to operate the tractor here. So, that's what we're doing. They forgot a shovel. Can you believe this, folks? They forgot a shovel. The most basic necessity in wintertime woodcutting. You make a circle around the tree, so then you have some safe workspace. So that's what the shovel's for. You, you make a circle and then you got safe workspace. You get your getaway trails uh, all made, and then it's just good. The circles, doing the circles are very important because if you don't have the circles, then you can be pinched and you can't get away from it as fast, the tree. Because uh, the trees have been known when they fall, you know, they go like, you know, up. But they can sometimes shimmy each way when their front load hits the ground and they got it. They release through the back. Hopefully we don't see too much of that on this one. He has had some very close calls in the past with trees and such like that. So we'll have to see how this goes. Um, all right, looks like he's going to go back to falling it. So let's uh, stick the camera over there, maybe throw some music on. So we're gonna basically fall it, hopefully, fingers crossed. Then we are going to limit, and I think then we're gonna just drag it back to a open spot before we cut it up. I think that's the plan. Just like, leave it right there. Where'd it go? Awesome, awesome. All right, folks, so we have a bit of dilemma here. Uh, Dad's saw is not running correctly, and I blame it entirely on Brady. Um, I think it's got either ice in it or it's running too rich for the winter time, or I don't know what, but we haven't ran it for a while. Uh, 
definitely not in these colder temperatures either. So that could be playing a part. We'll have to do like a little maintenance report on it or something. Anyways, the tree still stands. Uh, he's got his face cut done, uh, but uh, not the back cut. So the tree still stands at the moment. And I still sit on the tractor. Anywho, so we are going to go try and fix this saw. That is the plan. All right, folks. So we've got the saws fixed, and now we're gonna go continue following that tree. It's uh, starting to get dark here, so if the camera video quality lessens, that is uh, not my fault. Okay. Let you know, Harley, he's on the table if anyone wants him. Oh, of course. I think you your firewood that you saw it up.
Check it out, folks. It's almost zero degrees. It's right there. It's like two, three degrees above freezing. Or not freezing, but zero. It's, it's well into freezing. Where are we going, Lolly? To rescue Brady from getting stuck. Well, he's already gotten stuck, so we're going to go with the Dakota here. I know. Where are you going? And we're going to go get him unstuck, because Brady got stuck. Can you believe this, folks? You got the uh, emergency tow rope right. You got the emergency tow rope right here. You got some tire chains. Uh, some of that leftover pizza. And shovels. And D Gusway. So let's get going. All right, folks. Uh, here's Brady's truck on the side of the freaking road. Oh, that's hilarious. Get it went right into the. Yeah, so. Yeah, anyway, so we're gonna get the chains out of the back here. Here you go. There's chains in the back. We have now gotten Brady unstuck, so uh, we're gonna charge him, and then we're gonna head back up to the cabin, and um, yeah, that's what we're doing. And look at this, look at this crowd we've drawn here. We've got the entire fam here. We all just helped him get out. It was, was a team effort. Goodbye, Brady. If you get stuck any more further away, I'll be upset. If I get stuck again, don't come. I don't want you. <laughs> All right, bye guys. Bye. Uh, Lily, you're with me. <laughs> Mom, don't don't get stuck turning around, okay? Uh huh. That's what she always says, and then it gets stuck. All right, folks. So we'll be taking the rescue machine back, the Dakota rescue machine. Do you think that's fitting, Lily? Oh yeah. We got the rescue squad, or otherwise known as the Gaz Squad. Back. All right, folks, we are now back from rescuing Brady. So, that was fun. That was fun. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. And hey, if you did, make sure you leave a like and subscribe, please. That would be great. All right. Okay, folks, that is the end of the video. And if you did enjoy the video, maybe consider leaving a like and maybe subscribing. That would be greatly appreciated. As always, I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I will see you in the next one.